Hello? Hi, my name is Seth McElroy, and I'm calling from a department store. I'm looking for Frank T. Uh, yeah, this is, this is Frank. Hi, Frank. How are you? I'm um, doing all right. How can I help you? Well, I'm calling you today because I need to let you know about a data breach we had in our store, and unfortunately, we believe some of your information was compromised. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, are you serious? Yeah, I am. I'm sorry. So you might want to start thinking about checking your bank accounts and your statements and changing your credit cards and things like that. I mean, we're very sorry for what happened and we wish we could have done more to prevent it. Headquarters is looking into the issue a bit more. Well, headquarters is okay. I mean, was this widespread? Like, I mean, my, my wife shops there too. Is, is, should I be concerned? What, I mean, oh, no, no, no. I think your wife is fine. It's, it's actually sort of embarrassing. The breach only affects you. It only affects me. Yeah, they only took your information. Someone just hacked in and took my information. Only my information? That makes no sense. Right, but it, it wasn't necessarily a hacker. You see, what happened was apparently you were shopping in our store about a month ago, correct? Uh, maybe that sounds right, yeah. Well, rumor has it that you were rude to one of our sales clerks. So the... uh, No, got to be honest. I dealt with a sales clerk that was pretty much an idiot. Okay. That rings a bell. Right, well, that sales clerk just posted your credit info on the bulletin board in the break room. I'm sorry. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. I, my, my credit information was on the break room, and you have no idea how many people saw this? We don't know how many. It was up there for about two weeks. We didn't even realize two? it. And then one day someone was like, hey, why is there credit card information in the break room? And we're like, I don't know. Uh, and then Two weeks? Yes. For two weeks it was sitting up there? How many people are in and out of that break room every single day for two weeks that could see all of my credit information? I don't know, sir. A lot. Uh, there, there was a note next to it that said, screw this Use this credit card information to buy something nice. Wow. I cannot believe this. I couldn't either. Someone has completely stolen my identity, ran up tens of thousands of dollars buying stuff. I mean, in a, in a way, I can kind of see his side of things because you were, I guess, apparently rude to him that day. So you, I do understand can, where he's... I'm sorry? What, you can see his side of things in committing a crime and screwing up my entire life? Well, I don't know about For the crime. For being rude to someone that was completely unhelpful? This guy was an absolute moron, and you know what? You must be, too, if you think it's okay to post someone's credit Listen. information. For two weeks in a storeroom. Hey, I'd be upset, too. You know, but this is just one of those things in life that kind of happens, one of those crazy things. And Oh, you'll... don't give me that. What are you, my therapist? This doesn't happen. People don't absolutely ruin someone's life because they were rude to someone because they were completely unhelpful and stupid. Sir, I can also tell you the person that did this, they have been dealt with. Did you fire this person? Because I'm, I'm going to have to press charges. Well, his superior did give him two paid days off of work for his actions, so he can't come in and work. Two, for two paid days. days off? I cannot believe you gave a guy two paid days off mm -hmm. vacation for committing a criminal act in your store. Oh, wow. Well, I cannot believe it. I don't think that's vacation, sir. He had to sit home and think about what he did. Oh, really? Did you what? Did you have like a low jack on his ankle? I guarantee you he wasn't at home. Well, no, we told him to stay home and not come into work for two days and think about his actions. I think that's punishment oh. enough, don't you? That, no, that's that's what you do to a third grader that wrote on the bathroom wall in Sharpie. That's not what you do to someone that absolutely posted everyone's personal information in a break room for two weeks. Well, what would you have us do? Make him not come into work for three days? <laughs> Three days? Fire him! Well, I think we're getting a little harsh then. He's a criminal! My credit information was up in your break room for two weeks because some moron that you guys had the poor judgment to hire and then gave two paid vacation days to was up in a break room, and now my life as I know it could be over. As soon as I get off this phone, oh, I have to sir. call every single solitary person, okay. find out if my license has been hacked, okay. find out well, if my credit cards have been hacked. Sir, that's a long list of things, and you should probably add prank phone call to that list too. What did you say? You should probably add prank phone call to that long list of things that you were just saying. I have no idea what you're talking about right now. This is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning doing a phone tap on you. What? Yeah, it's a joke. Your friend James set you up. Are you serious? He said you had a run-in with a salesperson not too long ago and weren't happy with them, so he wanted me to mess with you over it. <laughs> hey, oh, wow. But I did charge a couple things on your credit card, okay? I don't even care at this point. I'm so happy that this was a joke. You have no idea. <laughs>